this evening uh, we just moved her goats uh, to a new paddock we checked on her dog Raymond who had the snake bite earlier in the week uh, he's doing really good he's he's sound and he's not limping around and all the swelling's gone out of his foot so uh, I think we're safe we're out of the woods on that deal um, we just came back in here this is the first paddock that we grazed in our in our little higher higher density uh, experiment that we did uh, we got these old crop fields here that are just kind of run rampant with weeds and some green briars. And so we thought we'd see what it would be like to really increase our density and see how it affected some of these weeds and plants out here. And so I wanted to bring you guys back to this first paddock that we grazed. It's been roughly 20 days since we left this paddock. We grazed it for roughly three days. I'm sorry about all the bugs and stuff, um, swatting at them, but we grazed it for three days, about seven and a half acres with uh, I'll be 157 nannies and uh, about 186 kid goats. A couple things, um, you know, we've been talking about this green briar bunch. This right here, this is all new growth. Coming from branching right here, this is all this new growth, okay? So just in 20 days, you know, it's managed to do that. We've, uh, you know, had plenty of rain and the like, um, maybe for good growing conditions, but uh, that's a lot, a lot of regrowth, and so you can see the red tint across some of these other green briar plants. That's all. That's all the new growth on them. Uh, I'm not sure why it's got the the uh, red tint like that, but anyhow, there's some new growth here. Um, not sure exactly, you know, what to draw on that, but uh, it's there, and it's worth worth noting how much it's grown just in a 20 day time period. Right next to it is this, this is uh, some of what we call uh, gumbomelia. And so you can see this is all new growth too right here that's just come out. Um, and lastly, I've, I've got a plant down here at the bottom of the terrace. I'll show you guys. This is, uh, I marked it here with my sunglasses. This is a, a milkweed plant. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers uh, was able to identify this thing and I went back and looked at my book and, and sure enough that's what it was but anyhow you can see this old stem that was bit off when we were here and then this is this is uh, all this right here is new growth um, so you know what do you do with that what does all this mean um, I'm not really entirely sure I think for one thing certainly to say is that uh, it's not a you know one-time kind of solution 
uh, you're not going to kill these these plants um, just by grazing them the way we did maybe if we grazed them even harsher uh, we would have would have got a little better result maybe when it come back like this but i think it's an example of multiple applications are going to be necessary to achieve any kind of change um, in our uh, plant composition but uh, like i say it was an experiment uh, this is certainly just a, a what I'm doing channel, not a how-to channel. So uh, I'm kind of learning as I go, and I'm just trying to show some stuff that I'm doing and share it with you guys. But uh, like I say, this has uh, been our little experiment here, and, and just uh, thought it'd be neat to bring you out here and show you uh, what the results are so far. Thanks for coming along with us. We'll talk at you on the next one. Bye now.